What's up guys, this is Ashley Gillard and I'm bringing forth a message for the Twin, Twin Flame Collective for August 7th. Certainly a dope reading on the, the overall energy of this reading. We have success and we have imagination. We have the Six of Wands and Imagination Air. This is saying that your imagination, your ideas, your... Um, shadow ideas, meaning the ideas that come from your divine feminine energy, that come from your true self, leads to success. It's about innovation. It's about the ideas that, you know, spirit wants to create through you and embracing those ideas. And because you embrace those ideas, it leads you to freedom. It leads you to success. It leads you to recognition. It leads you to um, enjoying the fruit of your labor. And this is happening during Libra season. The first card we have is the Princess of Swords. The Princess of Swords, first of all, this deck, this modern day mystic deck is beautiful. I love the energy that this deck brings. But the Princess of Swords is about embracing your ideas. Um, maybe you're a person that has multiple ideas. You always think of a business idea or project. Um, you're very innovative. But now it's time for you to embrace those innovations and bring them to light because it brings you to success and it aligns you with your higher self and it balances you. The next card you have is the Three of Swords. This isn't about disappointment. The Three of Swords has been coming out in a lot of my readings. Why? Because it's about Libra season, which is coming up. So during Libra season, if like, okay, Leo season, what we're in right now, Based on my readings, it's about the harvest. It's about putting in the hard work, being dedicated to your crowd, being dedicated to your higher self and becoming one with the dualities of yourself, um, practically and spiritually, so that during Libra season, those ideas, those um, projects, those practical things that you worked hard on will manifest. Why? Because you're balanced within the dualities of yourself and you put in the work during Leo season. So now is the time for you to implement those ideas, put a plan together and just execute because you know that during Libra season it brings you success. Your hard work leads you to success. Again, we have the King of Cups. Clarifying balance. Clarifying that these ideas come from your feminine energy and your masculine energy is going to take them to the next level. Your feminine, the ideas come from your feminine energy, the left side, and the masculine energy implements it. You put your hands together, you put your plans together, and you start executing these ideas because you know that it comes from your feminine. You know it comes from your higher self. This is why the relationship is so important as well. People think, oh, I love you, you love me, you're a twin, we, you know, you're a twin. It's more than love. It's creation. It's, it's, think about it. I explain it in my book, The Power of I Am. I am the creator and the creator is in me. When you come together with your divine partner, just think about being one with yourself and the beauty that that brings in itself. First of all, your blessing and a miracle in, in itself, in yourself, when you become one with the dualities of yourself, your masculine and feminine energies. Now, multiply that by your masculine and don't just multiply it by one or two, multiply it by three because when you're one with yourself and then your masculine is one with his or herself or your feminine is one with him or herself and y'all come together and that opens the door to be in a more creative, how it's supposed to be type relationship with divine, with God, with the almighty, with our spirits, with our ancestors. So it multiplies it synergetically because we've all, we're one, we're all one, we're one with the universe and we're one with ourselves. So alignment with their feminine energies and those ideas and putting those ideas to work opens the door for miracles for yourself and your divine partner. That's why it's important for us to come together because it's all about creation. It's all about love, yeah, but also about creation and being being back in a place that is natural, you know, garden, garden Eden type stuff. It's natural to us. It's what we're created to be. Now that I'm off that tangent, next card we have is the star. Again, clarifying what I just said, putting you to a place of vitality and health and but recognition um when you are a part of a twin flame journey 
it's more than just about you. It's about leadership. So when you become one with yourself and you, you get the recognition that you deserve, but also that you're responsible for it. It's a responsibility. Uh, being a divine chosen one, being a person in alignment with their self, you become a leader and you lead others. And stardom is about re responsibility and leadership over pe people. You can call it a nation. It's not just about the ego and, and being your ego and fed. But when you're using it the right way, it's about leadership, leading people to light, leading people to love, leading people to their highest self as well. So once you get this balance during Libra season, you use that, you follow this energy and you follow the advice in these readings and you use your ideas and implement them. Expect fame. Expect stardom. This is actual. I'm getting the energy of actual stardom. Expect the responsibility of leading a nation. Then we have Nine of Swords and the Queen of Swords. I want to use these together. Nine of Swords and Queen of Swords. This is anxiety and fear turning into clarity. Um, that could be, this is a new level of living, a new level of life. And you heard of that saying, new levels, new devils. But we, we don't. We fight our demons and we kill them. We don't indulge in them. So this is anxiety of the new levels. This is this could be fear and anxiety of a new level of living, especially you know for those who re who resonate with stardom and knowing that you were created to lead a nation, knowing you were created to have the responsibility to lead people, being in a spotlight, being in a different level of living. It could be scary. It could be lead anxiety. But with the Queen of Swords energy right next to it, it's you gain clarity of who you are as a person. You gain clarity of why you're here. You gain clarity of your mission and your purpose. And that calms the anxiety down. That calms the fear down because you know that, okay, yes, this responsibility is on me to, to be in a spotlight, to lead people, to live this level of living, of life. But um, it's a reason. I was created for a reason. And my purpose trumps or my purpose goes far beyond this anxiety or fear that you may be feeling. I also pulled some oracle cards and I got cloak, homecoming, and shadow. Clarifying all of what I just said. Um, it's time for you to be revealed. Shadow, we know that's about the dualities of yourself. It's time for you to become one with yourself. Use your ideas to become one with your feminine. Use your masculine to implement the ideas from your feminine. And it's time for you to be revealed. No more concealment. It's time for you to come home. Being one with yourself is, a, is home. That's who you are. It's becoming one with who you were created to be as a person. Becoming one with yourself because it's time. It's time to be revealed. It's time for you to be used. It's time for you to lead. It's time for your ideas to help others advance to more light and more light. So, this message for the Twin Flame Collective is more so individual. But once you come together as an individual, a lot of couples, a lot of partners are going to come together um, during Libra season as well because once you become one with the dualities of yourself that opens the door for your partner that opens you have you now have space and now you're able to maintain to manage and be in a successful twin flame relationship and come together with your divine partner because you did it for yourself and you're one with yourself you're a whole person within yourself so right now the goal is to work on yourself use your imagination use your ideas to enter this new, new phase of life, to enter clarity, to enter knowledge of who you are as a person, to gain recognition and success and to connect you with your people so that you can, not so that, and then once accomplished, once you have clarity of who you are as a person and, and what you were created for and you're, you're whole and you're happy and you, you have this level of success that you've created for yourself, just to think about when you come together for your, with your divine partner, with that level of wholeness, you at, you are the table at that point. And you're bringing two tables together instead of trying to make two half tables into one. You both have a table and you're bringing them together, but they should also align with each other. If you're truly my divine partner, our table should align with each other. Our mission should align with each other. That way, when we bring our tables together, they match and they they're magnify each other and we can take our idea is to a whole nother level and, and reach even higher levels of success, higher magnitude of 
synergetic results because now I'm a whole person. I come together with another whole person and it's magnified. So yeah, I think that's pretty it. My readings are so, um, I'm going to try to do longer readings, um, in the future. My readings are very, very straight to the point. Um, but I'm going to do longer readings in the future to dig deeper into maybe some of the questions that people may have about these readings. But this is so dope. And I love this deck, the Modern Day Mystic. These cards are just so beautiful. But yeah, follow that imagination. Implement those ideas. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Look at that. It looks like an eye a little bit. Look at that. So south, north, east, west. Look at that. That is just so beautiful. Implement those ideas. Dig deep within yourself. And, and you already know the ideas that you have. I know the ideas that I have. Just do it. Just do it. No more excuses. Make the time. Just do it. Because Libra season is almost here. Leo season is harvest season. It is smart to work hard and stupid to sleep during harvest season. And that's a scripture. I don't remember which one it is. Um, but... Good luck, guys. I do wish you love, like, more life. Please like, subscribe, comment if you resonate with this reading. Share it as well. And let me know how you feel about it. If you have any questions, if you want a business reading, click the link in my description. And I'll do a reading on your ideas to make sure that you're in alignment with your highest self. Um, feel free. My books are not expensive. To go on Amazon, I have the personification of beauty. Um, Ashley Giller, um, Chantrice Dewberry, and Tomisha Wilson. It's a great read in The Power of I Am and several other books. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. This would die for life. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.